Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to talk a little bit about strumming development because we've covered a lot of ground when it comes to strumming, mainly because I taught you the secret of strumming, which is that if you keep your hand moving, you can strum almost any strums that you want in a pattern and it's going to sound pretty cool. You'll find that there are some strumming patterns that would still feel pretty awkward and a lot that you would struggle to apply to songs, but that's kind of normal. But the biggest deal with strumming is making it feel nice, is being relaxed. And for most beginners, that's the hardest thing. For me in the left-handed journey, it's the hardest thing. My, my arm feels tense when I'm trying to strum and it just, what I'm searching for when I'm practicing is making it feel loose and relaxed. That's pretty much the only thing I'm really concerned with when I'm doing lefty practice, okay? It, when I'm strumming with this hand, it just happens automatically. This hand just is, it's always just loose and relaxed. It, want, it knows that that's its gig. But for many beginners, that's one of the hardest parts is to be relaxed. It's also really easy for me to say and really difficult for you to do because you're struggling with it. And if you're, well, some of you will be struggling with it. If you're struggling with strumming, you're going to find the arm gets really tense because you get worried about it, and you get nervous about it, and that in, in effect makes it a lot worse. So. One of the things that I would really strongly recommend that you work on when it comes to strumming is playing to a metronome, picking a, a, a pattern that you find really simple, and trying to play it over and over again until it feels nice and make yourself feel good when you're doing it. So let's just pick it on a C chord. Nice, down, yeah, old faithful, down, down, up, up, down pattern. Um, I haven't got a metronome to hand actually, so I'll just have to do it with that one. But there's the pattern. Now, I'm really trying to feel relaxed in my shoulders, in my mind, everywhere. It's not, I'm not trying to think like one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Because it, then it feels all jerky and it doesn't, you can feel it, right? If I do it like that. It's just, ugh. It's all yucky. It wants to have this. It needs to be so relaxed and chilled. It really does. That's what you're aiming for. It's like sometimes my hand just feels like it's falling off, but it's trying to keep that continuous motion and just really feel good. Sorry, I'm squeaky. <coughs> my shoe's squeaking on my guitar cable down there on the floor. Um, one of the things that I find that when I'm practicing something that's more difficult, technically challenging, but I still want it to feel good, is I try and deliberately force myself to smile and think happy thoughts. And I know this sounds like funny, hippie, hurdy-gurdy stuff, but it's almost like this fake it till you make it thing can really help. If you're, if you're struggling a bit to make it relaxed, smile. That probably looks like a real idiot trying to smile here, but and trying to think like, you know, that time you had a great holiday in Barbados and you were, or whatever, you know, just really like trying to get yourself in a real happy place and trying to get your whole feeling like that, this nice, relaxed comfort, uh, you know, old pair of slippers, just, it just feels really good. It's got to, it, you'd have to try and find that in yourself in the way that you play. When people hear you playing like that, they will feel it. And that's one of the most important things because we generally want to hear music that makes us feel good. So the people playing it have to feel good too. Now that's not always the case. I know in some music, if you're playing like really angry music, then the music wants to be feeling angry. Therefore, you'd be wanting to feel angry when you play it because it needs to be expressed that way. So a lot of, a lot of it's depending on what you want to play. M more times than not, you want to feel good or you want to feel sad. And any of those, you want to feel relaxed in. You want to feel comfortable in your skin and comfortable in what you're doing. Some of that's practice. Of course, when you just started out and something's technically complicated, it's going to be real difficult to relax. Really, really difficult. So you, But at this point on your journey, you probably are starting to feel a bit more relaxed, at least with it conceptually. So now the, is the time to really start to dig into trying to make things relax. Just pick a pattern. And then make it feel good. Chords don't really matter. You want to be thinking about all of that stuff that we talked about, about putting in minor variations in the strumming and all of that sort of stuff can par become part of that. 
but just playing on your own and not thinking about anything else but making it feel good is valuable practice. I know it might feel like, oh, I'd be better off doing it with a metronome or learning a new pattern or whatever, but if you can only play three or four patterns but you play them really well and they're really relaxed and they really feel good and therefore they work great when you're playing your songs, that's much better than studiously studying hundreds of strumming patterns and not really being able to use them effectively. It's much more about this, you know, getting into the feel of it. Music really is a feeling thing. Yes, there's some technical stuff that we've got to do, but it's the feeling that you bring to it that's the really important part. That's the part that we connect with as humans. There's this magical thing that makes us feel happy or sad or relaxed or angry or whatever. That's what we're trying to tap into. And getting that relaxed feeling is a really great first step. You might want to tap into some other emotions down the line. But to start off with, for this beginner grade one, just learning to relax with it would be a huge step. And it'll teach you a whole lot.